A lot of memories can be packed into a 40-year career. This is a tough business. Yeah, sure. But April 11th, 1978, is one day J.W. Martin won't ever forget. Just ripped it all out. This is where it, uh, I tore on my shoulder. Martin was training attack dogs at the Oklahoma State Penitentiary when the unthinkable happened. Grabbed one of the dogs and slipped and fell. And first thing, he tore the muscles out in my arm. And the second one, when I went to push him out, well, he tore me in the tore my nose out. Then he come back and uh, got me in the throat. And I went to get in the car to go to the hospital. Well, I put one hand over my nose while my throat was bleeding, so it covered the windshield. Martin radioed for assistance. Nobody available, the corrections officer beckoned help from the only person nearby, inmate John Charles Wood. You had a convict who was your hero. Yes, sir, he was. He saved my life because the dog would have killed me if he hadn't got him all. Wood was serving time for armed robbery and drug possession. When they couldn't find anybody to take me, well, I told the inmate to run through the gate. He wanted to go to shooting. I said, by the time we get gone, he couldn't hit us anyway, so just go run through the gate. Wood carried the corrections officer into the hospital ER and stayed right by his side. It took 1,000 stitches to put J.W. Martin back together. He saved your life and you changed his life. Yes, sir. Certainly did. Martin helped his unlikely hero get transferred from OSP to another facility where he could learn a trade and flourish after release. John Wood earned the Carnegie Hero Award, given to those who risk their lives in an extraordinary degree saving the lives of others. When he got out, he come back to the house. The Carnegie Foundation had given him a thousand dollar reward for saving my life. And he wanted to give me the thousand dollars. J.W. Martin refused that generous offer, but will forever be indebted to former inmate John Wood. I thank him everywhere in the world because I wouldn't be here if it wouldn't be, hadn't been for him.